Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Patterns make math easy. And this session is talking about tricks for dividing numbers one. Let me show you some trick. First of all, the first trick, let's see, I'm going to talk to a n number divided by two. Okay, for example, we have 24, 86 divided by 2. So we can use law division, say 2, 4, 8, 6 divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 minus 2 equals 0. So carry down the next digit is 4 and 2 times 2 equals 4 and this is 0, this is uh, 4 minus 4 equals 0 and we also carry down 8 2 multiplied 4 is 8 and 8 minus 8 equals 0 we carry down 6 then 2 times 3 equals 6 and divisible. The answer is 1, 2, 4, 3. From this division, we can look at because 2 is even number, that's why 2 divided by 2 is 1. And the 4 is even number, so 2 multiplied 2 equals 4, that's why 4 minus 4 equals 0. And 8 is even digit also. So 2 multiplied 4 equals 8, then equals 8, 2 times 8, uh, 2 times 4 equals 8, 8 minus 8 equals 0, and the 6 is 2 times 3 equals 6. So actually you can see, you do long division, you get the answer 1, 2, 4, 3, but what the pattern think about? Because this is an even digit, even digit, even digit, even digit. Each one is even digit. That's why when you dividing by each digit, there's every time no remainder. See? No remainder. So instead of doing this way, what we can do, make faster, make it quickly, we can do this way. You just look at all 2, 4, 8, 6, all even digit. You just do divided by 2, just do dividing each digit. Half of 2 divided by 2 means half, half of 2 is 1, half of 4 is 2, half of 8 is 4, half of 6 is 3. See? Very quickly, you don't need to do long division, right? Second example, I say this is the first example. Second example, we use this pattern, we say, if this is a, each a number is made of even digit, we just half of each digit when divided by 2. And this one, 80, 60, divided by 2, see? Say, half of 8 is 4, even you can say, half of 80 is 40. Half of 60 is 30. See? You go very quickly get the answer. Right? And also, the third example I show you, let's say if you have another number, let's say you have 20, 0, 4 divided by 2. Just 20. Divided by 2, half of 20 is 10, right? The 0 is still 0, half of 4 is 2. So very quickly you get the answer. Some situation, for example, is some digit, for example, some digit is even digit, but some digit is still all digit. Let's say the other example I show you. For example, this one, 50, 48. 50, 48, this one is an even number, but 
5 is not even 5 is all the digits right when you divide it by 2 we can do this way we say 50 half of 50 25 half of 48 24 see we still very easy when you divide by 2 half of 50 is 25 half of 48 is 24 right something like the other equation 70 50 divided by 2 see half of 70 is 35 half of 50 is 25 see very fast and even sometimes if you have large number you just follow this pattern as long as it's even digit even number just half of it very easy right second situation is if a number is even number but there are several all the digits which is, is not easy to get the divisible. Let's say, what about this situation? Let's say, mm, <coughs> let's say 178 divided by 2. So 178 is even number, but 1 is odd digit, 7 is odd digit. And then we can find something a little bit different, see, when divided 2, because 1 is less than 2, we need to move to 2 digits. So in 17, how many? 2, 8, right? 2 times 8 is 16, because 17 is odd number. That's why this situation we can see the remainder is 1. So then make 18, then 2 times 9 is 18. So answer is 89. Another example I show you, if you have four digit number, you say uh, 29 and 58 divided by 2. And also, we can do long division first. Let's see the long division. We have 2958 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Carry down 9. This is 0, 9. Because 9 is an odd number. So 2 times 4 is 8. 9 minus 8 equals 1. And carry down and the next digit is a five. So in fifteen you have two times seven is fourteen. One remainder eight. So two times nine is eighteen. Divisible. The answer is fourteen seventy nine. From these two examples, we also can find the pattern. What is pattern? You see, when this is uh, all the number and divide the two, they have one remainder here. This is the remainder is one. Okay. And this is twenty nine divided two. Uh, two divided two is uh, nine divided two is two times four is one remainder. Yeah. Five remainder is one. See. It gives us this pattern because when divide the two, if they are not divisible, the remainder always one, always one, right? Because if remainder is two, you can make one more. So remainder always one. That's why you can do this when one seventy eight divide two is not doing exactly long division, but to do, do mentally. Say, look at the this one, 17, the cross the number is 16, 2 multiply 8 is 16, because if it is all the digit, the remainder always 1. So you can say, make the next 
is 18, right? 18. You don't need to do very detailed, see? Because this is uh, all the digit, the remainder always win. So 18 divided 2 is 9. Also this one, 29, 58 divided 2. I say, even you can say, what is the number, even number across to 29, always win less, 28, right? See? So is divided by 2, 28 divided by 2 is 14, and always have one remainder. So 15 divided by 2 is 7, always have one, rem one remainder. Is 18 is 9, see? Try other questions, see, if I give you this question to see if you are able to do this one, okay? 1, 1, 3, 7, 0 divided by 2, see? Because 10, just one less, right? So it's 5, 10 divided by 2 is 5, then one remainder, make 13, 6, and make one remainder 17, 8, and one remainder 10, get the 5. So if it all the digit, always when divided 2, always remainder is 1. And also we say, if is not divisible, let's say the third I will show you the third one. If the remainder, if the number is not even number, let's say third. 85 divided by 2. What is the pattern? Now it's not divisible. Half of 8 is 4, and 4 is 1 less than 5. You got 2. So one remainder. The one remainder, if we want to get the decimal, one remainder and the carry it on. I can show you this one. The remainder, now we add a zero. What answer? Because remainder always one, then always carry zero. So, see? 0.5. So when divided by 2, if it's not divisible, always decimal after decimal is 0 0.5. Always 0 0.5. Okay? Let's say, second example, let's see if you have 97 divided by 2, one smaller 8 is divisible, is 4, make 17, and 16 is one less than 17, and make 8.5. Because one remainder, and carry zero is 0 0.5, 48.5, always 0.5. Even three digit number, let's say 307 divided by two, and say 30 divided by two is 15, and seven, 6 is divisible, so 6 divided 2 equals 3, and one remainder makes 0 is 0 0.5, 153.5, right? Even the number is very big, let's see, if you have this number, let's say 3, 9, 1, 6, 75, divided by 2 equals 38 one less, just to make one less 38 half divided by 2 is 19 and one remainder make 11 and make one less 10 is 5 and this is uh, one less is 16 is 8 and this is divisible okay 16 divisible so then move to 7 6 individual, 1 less is 6, we got the 3, and 15 is 7.5. So, when divided by 2, if divisible, 
last digit is even digit is divisible. If last digit is all the digit, is not divisible, and make decimal always 0.5. Okay, this is the third one. The other one, the fourth one, I'd like to show you. If number is divided by 20, let's say, you know the pattern divided, divided by 2, what about the pattern divided by 20? Let's say, 4680 divided by 20. You just divide by 2. This 0 will be cancel with this 0, right? This 0, 0 cancel out and divide by 2. You have 2, 3, 4. You just uh, divide by each digit because all even digits. So 234. If the question is 269 divided by 20, and same thing because there no zero can be canceled out, but you the decimal is 469, the decimal after 9, right? So if you cancel this zero, you move decimal to one place to the left. If and 46.9 divided by 2 divided 46 divided by 2 is 23 point and 9 one less than 9 8 divided by 2 is 4 then make 5 because the remainder is after divided by 9 the remainder is 1 and carry down the next digit is 0 make a 5. So the answer is 23.45. See? If you know that very fast, even you have some question, let's say, if you have, let's say, uh, 575 divided 200, let's say 200. As long as divide the 2, the zeros, you just move decimal. 1, 2. And the decimal here, one place, two place here. So this question looks like a 5.75 divided by 2. So, one less than 5 is 4. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. You have one remainder. Don't forget the decimal. And the 17, one less than 17 is 16. Divided by 2 is 8. I still have one remainder, 15, and one less than 15 is 14, divide 2 is 7, then you have one remainder as well, and make, carry down next digit is 0, you got the 5. So the answer is 2.875. So, this is the trick one. And next, I would like to introduce you to trick two. And continue watching the next video. This is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you very much.